Hey everybody, I'm Mike from Woodstock Furniture and Mattress Outlet. All right, you've made some decisions. You've picked your mattress and you've decided you don't want an adjustable base, you want a flat foundation. Now it's decision time. Do you want the standard nine inch, what we used to call a box spring, a low profile, about five inches, or a bunky board? Watch this video to the end and you'll know what's best for you. All right, time to do some comparisons, some pros and cons between that flat foundation, low profile foundation, and the bunky board to help us do that. Let's bring in our expert, Jimmy Trong. And by the way, you can't go wrong with Jimmy Trong, and you're gonna find that out. So first off, flat foundation, what is that? What does it do? Flat foundation, the basic definition is that it's a flat, sturdy surface that sits right into the bed frame, put that mattress on top, gives it that support it needs. Pretty simple there. Uh, we still use the term, I, I think I've even mentioned it a couple of times, box spring. Do we still have springs in these foundations? So springs are actually less commonly found um, in, this, in this world right now. Springs, they don't really even use springs anymore. It's honestly just a flat foundation. Those springs can wear and tear from all the shock and um, the pressure from the mattress. It's just, it just doesn't work anymore. So foundations are a universal flat sturdy surface for that mattress. Interesting, so again, the spring pretty much obsolete. So let's get now to option number one, and that is the flat foundation. Uh, let's talk about number one, height. What are we talking about? Roughly mm, nine inches. Nine inches, there you go. Why do I want this one? Nine inches, uh, they look great for those bed frames that had the high headboard, the big footboard. This adds the height creating the support that it needs. And then also it just it just aesthetically looks great on a, on a high headboard. There I you mean, go. Yeah, the big furniture, yeah. you might want something a little more substantial with the foundation and the mattress, but that also could lead to a con, right? A, yes. a, a reason I might not go with this. Yes, okay, so depending on the mattress, because we definitely stirred away from the standard 10, 12 inch mattress. Can you measure this for me? That's about 14 inches. 14 inches add to that nine, that's 23 inches that you're adding to the height of this bed. Now, if you don't have that high bed headboard or the big footboard, 23 inches, that might not work because it actually might cover too much of the headboard. And aesthetically, that just wouldn't look right for the bed frame. There you go, might not look the best. And also with all, it might be tough to get in and out of this bed for some folks, look right? This. I gotta push it out to just get into this bed. Yep. So if you're pregnant or you have mobility issues, short or tall, even our furry little friends at home, I have Bow Wow at home that likes to jump in bed to cuddle with me. If, if he were to hurt himself jumping on and off this bed, I don't know what I would do. I'm gonna shout out my dog too, Little Jack's 15. He can't jump up on here, and if he jumps off, he could hurt himself. Gotta look out for our pooches. We can't do that, man. I can't do that to my man. All right. Over time, the mattress industry has made some adjustments, so not everything's a nine inch flat foundation. We also have the low profile option. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. This is my personal favorite. Look, as you can tell the difference, this is just the new and improved flat foundation. It's thinner. It's right around five inches, five, almost six inches. Um, it's lighter, it's easier to move. And on, this is, like I said, this is my personal favorite. Look how easy it is for me to just get in some of bed. I just fall in. This is perfect. I don't exert too much energy getting in or out of bed. It gives me that height that I want, not too low, but even not too high. Got this it. is uh, what I start everybody out with. There you go. And a lot of this is personal preference. Again, it gets back to a potential con might be people just think it's too low. They don't like yeah. the look, right? Uh, it's per like I said, personal preference. You like it tall, you like it short. If you like it the medium height, it's honestly just personal preference on the looks. The main thing that the low profile does, it gives you that essential support that the mattress needs without adding that extra height. All right, let's say you do not want the nine inch flat foundation or the low profile. There's one other option. It's the bunky board. Jimmy, tell us about it. Bunky boards, bunky boards. These are roughly right around, say two inches. There you go. They were primarily used for bunk beds, but since uh, memory foam mattresses and hybrids came into play. These work great with them. They give you that low to the ground feel, that sense of safety. So of course, if you fall off, it's not gonna hurt as bad. <laughs> what, what, what's the best piece of furniture with this you see a lot? Well, right now, um, you'll often see them um, work great on platform beds. And of course, you know, the bunky board, because the bunk, bunk beds. beds. Yeah, the there you go. The bunk beds, the bunky boards, same thing. <laughs> All right, 
So the, the con of this one, I'd imagine, again, it's back to personal preference, it just might be too low for some people. Look, I'm not that tall, okay, but I actually gotta bend down to get on bed, and I gotta exert more energy just getting off the bed. So, this might be a little bit too low for you, but it's, like I said, personal preference, Mike. All right, great job by our expert, Jimmy Trong, walking us through the differences between a standard flat foundation, the low profile, and the bunky board. One other thing for you to do, you might still be deciding on whether to go flat foundation or adjustable base. We have a video on that, laying out the differences for you. Check it out on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you next time.